Just when you thought the news of the world uh, hacking scandal was crazy, it just got way crazier. Uh, a guy by the name of Sean Hoare was the first uh, named journalist to allege that Andy Coulson, who you remember, of course, was the editor and the Downing Street communications chief for News of the World, uh, was involved and had authorized the hacking uh, of these phones. So he's the first journalist to point that out. He's now dead. Uh, police found him um, deceased in his home. Uh, and, you know, first of all, it's a little curious, right? Uh, the guy who had started this whole stuff and uh, who had named Andy Colson and had said Andy Colson is, quote, um, uh, Andy Colson's charges that he was not involved and did not authorize it was, quote, a lie. It is simply a lie. And he also said, quote, there's more to come. This is not going to go away. And he had named a private investigator who said he had links with news of the world. Okay? So this guy was absolutely critical in pointing out who was doing this hacking. He worked at news of the world, and so that's why he knew. Now he shows up dead. Okay, well, we don't know enough about it yet. But here are the other parts of the story that made me go, hmm, this is really strange. So uh, people call it in. Uh, the police arrive at 11 a.m. Okay, they stay around till 3 p.m. But then some of the family of the deceased show up, and the police totally leave. As soon as the family shows up, they pack up and they leave, which is already incredibly weird. It's a crime scene, or possibly a crime scene. We don't know, right? But a guy is dead. You probably want to make sure that you've got the evidence, etc. Why did they, it's? It almost seems like when the family showed up. They got the hell, the police got the hell out of there. And then they don't come back to actually do forensic evidence with what is called a quote scientific services unit until 9.15 p.m. So the call comes in at 11, or they get arrive at the house at 11, they leave at 3, and then they come back to do forensics at 9.15 p.m. That's incredibly strange. So you add on top of the fact that the first guy to name Andy Colson, among others, for this News of the World scandal, uh, it winds up dead, and you add police who have been involved in this scandal all along, by the way, and several of whom have been arrested, now all of a sudden do this incredibly weird investigation here. And now, the third part of it is, it turns out that uh, Sean Hoare was also talking about how News of the World used... Uh, the police and their technology to locate people using their mobile phone signals. It's a thing called pinging, and uh, it was done in exchange for payments to police officers. So here's how it would work. News of the World editors would go and ask the police, hey, I'm trying to locate, for example, Sienna Miller. That's the celebrity that they had, had tapped into her phones and had litigation with her uh, accordingly afterwards, etc. So they say, where is Sienna Miller? The police use their technology, which they're supposed to use to chase criminals, to find a celebrity or whoever else News of the World is looking for, and they report it back to the paper, and the paper sends paparazzi, etc., and figures out where they are. Uh, and in ex exchange, the police get money, a bribe. <laughs> massively, gargantuanly illegal, and a horrible abuse of the police in the UK. So that's the guy who reported on that, who explained that, uh, who was basically, not basically, is a whistleblower, is now dead and had this incredibly strange police reaction to his death. How you like them apples? This story, I think, is gone to a whole new level. We are wearing awesome t-shirts today. It's not as obvious as it should be. Yeah, this is... You know. It's a matador, matador. I wanted a shirt that looked cute and was comfortable, and uh, this was it. But unfortunately, the logo isn't large enough. Uh, it's very silky and soft. Do you feel the softness? 